Good morning, Michael she's and Courtney. Oh, she's rocking morning, chair tricking man. you there. Now I got caught. We're good. Oh, uh, well, I moved it, so I, I probably tricked you. I see your uh, little chalkboard up there. That's very, very nice. Uh, it's, it's the morning after. You've been married, by my calculations, about 20 hours now, 21. So you're oh, almost really up to your one-day anniversary. <laughs> And you were, I wonder if you could just share with us a little bit about your experience here and how you came to hear about us. And you were just telling me about your complaint that you made to Robin. That's so, right. And it was? That's right. Well, um, you know, I think we just heard about my guess through complete luck. I grew up in Maine. Most of my family's here, and we had never heard of the place. Um, and so, and everybody's just remarking that I cannot believe that you found this place that we've never heard of. Um, and um, I think we just maybe found it, I don't know, through our searching, I can't even remember. It was so long ago now. Um, my, my complaint to Robin, which I told her this morning, was um, that at 3 o'clock in the morning when I was sitting on the dock, um, because sitting on the dock of our bay was our closing song, oh, um, and I'm staring up at the stars, sitting in my wedding dress, and I decided that I wanted to sleep on the dock. And my only complaint was that they didn't stock blankets <laughs> on the dock so that I could stay there all night. <laughs> well, we will have to add that to the checklist. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can't imagine the checklist you have. <laughs> So you had a weekend with your family and your friends, and was there a uh, particular, you know what, I went to, I said, I called somebody, I said, oh, don't forget to get a picture of the cake, and they said to me, what about the cake? What kind of wedding cake did you have, Michael? We don't, we decided pretty early on that, uh, you know, we, we didn't want a cake. Ah. We didn't want us for cake people. Okay. Um, and we, we struggled with it for a little while in terms of trying to decide what, what was going to be our our dessert <laughs> and uh and finally Courtney came to me and she said it's in Maine we're doing blueberry pie <laughs> and and uh you know and I said that's totally fine and about a week or two ago um or a little more than that a couple weeks ago we heard of a recipe on uh, NPR for um pecan encrusted bacon and we thought and our, lo and our theme was lobster and bacon yes. Our wow. wedding website is lobsterandbacon.com. <laughs> the chef added ribs to the lobster cookout for okay. lobster and bacon. So yeah, this is yeah. continuing. So, so it was in pretty much a no-brainer at that point. It was, <laughs> our dessert was going to be uh, blueberry pie and uh, pecan encrusted candied bacon. Candy bacon. Holy cow, that's it's fantastic. Amazing. And, yeah. one, of, one of the other things I, I would say is that when Courtney and I sat down and, and we, you know, had the engagement, we, we spent some time in the engagement, and we sat down, and, and Courtney said, you know, what's your dream wedding? And I said, you know, I really just want a weekend where my friends can come, and we can party all weekend and have a great time, and somewhere in between, we'll have a ceremony, and, and we'll get married. And when we got to this property, we probably hadn't made it to even to the lodge, and we looked at each other, and we knew this was the spot. This was the place I was going to allow us to do that, and and uh, and I think it we were exceeded right. Exceeded every Absolutely. expectation yeah. that we could have possibly yeah. had. Well, that's that's uh, that's wonderful to hear. I was going to say, uh, too bad about the weather. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> know. <laughs> What kind of awesome karma they does happen? <laughs> we got very lucky. I would lucky. definitely order this up. <gasps> yes. Holy yeah. smokes. Yeah. And, um, you know, I have to say, too, I think every single detail, it's really remarkable, um, having never obviously planned a wedding before, mm -hmm. um, the uh, amount of just details and thought. And um, what really struck me is that the MIGA staff and everybody just without even asking, goes above and beyond for the extra touches that you never would have even thought about. And so last night was we were um, heading out from the reception, um, which of course we extended. I think we extended everything we possibly could ahead <laughs> of time. Um, <clears throat> and going out to the bonfire afterwards at around 1130, um, we had brought these little lanterns and I didn't have a particular plan for them. And, you know, I said, 
don't worry about it, we're not going to use them. You know, I just didn't get a chance to, to think about what we're going to do. And the MIGA staff had just taken them and put candles in all of them and taken some of the votives that we had on the tables and they set it all out on all the tables all around the bonfire. So oh. it was amazing. I bet it looked beautiful. Yeah, I bet it looked it beautiful. Well, you had a, a beautiful idea and somebody else carried it out. So that's, exactly. that's yeah. a good cooperative uh, <laughs> arrangement. So did you have a, uh, what kind of dinner did you have uh, yesterday? You had the lobster bake Friday night, and then you must have breakfast yesterday morning, and then what did you do for your well, uh, dinner? Well, I think, for, you know, the, 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 first, the first thing is that, our, again, going back to the, our whole theme was always lobster, lobster and bacon. Lobster and bacon, food's pretty important. <laughs> kind of big foodies, and, and when we... Uh, and a lot of my family are, are cooks and chefs at uh, restaurants all around me, and mostly in the oh, restaurant yeah. business, so Ooh. pretty... Pretty intense food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Eaters, I think, on both sides. And when we sat down and started planning the uh, uh, the menu, and we started looking at appetizers and talking to everybody and, and, and whatnot, um, we figured we would figure out a way to incorporate bacon into just about everything we did. <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> and so all the to the point where Robin's like, every one of your appetizers has pork product <laughs> in it. And we're like, that's, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're okay with Working that. Working out great. But, um, but they were the food was amazing, I and mean, we've heard so many so many comments. And I yeah I loved that we um, we didn't do a traditional you know steak and salmon and some of the other things which are wonderful. Um, but for you know for our, our dinner last night um, we chose lamb and duck and cod and um, it was just amazing and people loved the fact that it was so different and. Um, you know, John was just great in helping us kind of create something, you know, unique and fun, I think, in that, too. And I think the best part about it was it reflected us. Yeah. That's, we're not necessarily steak and salmon folks. We, we love to eat and enjoy food, and, and we had a lot of foodies there. And, um, you know, their standard, standards are pretty high, and I think, you know, we exceeded everybody's expectations. And the banana pancakes this morning <laughs> topped it off. So. <laughs> yeah. And add on to the, the breakfast on cookout point, which was really nice. So. so Michael, you were talking about uh, that you have a sort of a karaoke friendly uh, group of friends. So that was an option to you? It, we, we'll, yeah. <laughs> yes, um, we do have a karaoke. I don't know if it's friendly to everybody's ears, but they're <laughs> um, we like to karaoke. A passionate, uh, passionate karaoke crowd. <laughs> and we were sharing this with Robin when we booked the place, and she said, well, you do realize that the chef here also <laughs> has a karaoke DJ, business totally on the side. Totally karaoke DJ. <laughs> yeah, we're like, I think that actually made our decision, right? I think we looked at each other and we're like... Well, the decision was already made. <laughs> but, but, Amazing. But that was like, the, the deal closer for sure. <laughs> And, uh, and John came and, and did a wonderful job on Friday night, and we had hosted everybody to an open rehearsal dinner, Lobster Bake, which was phenomenal. And then we... We ended up with about, what, three times as many people at the yes, Lobster Bake as yes. we were expecting. But yeah. We couldn't be more excited about that. <laughs> and then we headed over to Boulder's, and we did karaoke for three and a half hours, and, and uh, all thanks to John. And, and so Robin. who was the first one to sing? Is it our, me? No, it was our, it was friend, Becca, our friend Becca. Yeah. Okay. Our friend Becca is... She's a good party starter. Yes, she's a good party starter, middle and, and end. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And what time did you get married? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Nice time of day. Nice it was time of day. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and after, you know, I, I think what's remarkable, and everyone kept saying that, that there wasn't stress. At one point throughout the day, I mean, we were both so relaxed, and everybody was. Um, you were on a paddleboard for half the day, mm -hmm. so I made the photographer yeah. run out and with a telephoto lens and get a shot of you paddleboarding, which was awesome. Um, and and everyone just kind of floating around, and so there was absolutely no stress. But when we finished the ceremony, we were walking back and got on the boat. Um, it was just the two of us and uh, the tycoon and we were out in the water a little bit and then we actually came around to one of the back docks and just did some photos, just us, and it was such a great, mm -hmm. relaxing, you know, experience just to soak it all in for a few minutes. So. When we were coming here, um, everybody I talked to said, you know, make sure you take a little bit of time just to, to soak it in and, 
it was the perfect amount of time and the perfect opportunity to do that. Yeah. And we had an opportunity to just sit there and, and, and look at all of our friends and family um, who were enjoying the day. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, you know, pretty amazing. Yeah. My face still hurts my smile. Oh. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for your time and your comments, and uh, I, I, especially about having those stress-free moments because you do want that on a very special day. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. So congratulations to you both. Thank hope you. Hope we so see much. you again, and I uh, yeah, hope you God, have I a. I think I'll see everybody. Again. <laughs> <laughs> plans. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have you. a long and prosperous and happy life together. Thank you. Thanks very much.